Myself Alpin Stills here. Welcome back in the session of antenna and wave propagation. Let's know one more special purpose antenna that is parabolic reflector antenna. In today's session, we will going to learn the what is the parabolic reflector antenna, its frequency range of operation, construction and working, radiation pattern, its mode of operation, advantages and disadvantages, and at last the application. So let's see the first that is what is parabolic reflector antenna. Parabolic reflector are microwave antenna. For better understanding of this antenna, the concept of parabolic reflector has to be discussed. The parabolic reflector or this antenna is the form of antenna which find many uses in domestic satellite television reception, terrestrial microwave data links, general satellite communication and many more. The parabolic reflector antenna or this antenna is known for its distinctive shape it is high gain and narrow beam width. It is the performance which can be achieved by using one is the reason it is so widely used at higher frequency. Now let's see the frequency range of it. The frequency range used for the application of parabolic reflector antenna is above 1 megahertz. This antenna are widely used for radio and wireless applications. Now, let's see the principle of operation. The standard definition of parabola is locus of a point which move in such a way that it, its distance from the fixed point called focus plus its distance from a, a straight line is called constant. The figure shows the geometry of parabolic reflector. The point F is the focus and V is the vertex. The line joining F and V is the axis symmetry. PQ are the reflected rays where the L represents the line directrix on which the reflected points lie. Hence, as per the above definition, the distance between F and L lie constant with respect to the wave being focused. The reflected wave forms a collimated wave front out of the parabolic shape the ratio of focal length to aperture size known as f over d ratio is an important parameter of parabolic reflector its value varies from 0.25 to 50 the law of reflection states that the angle of incident and the angle of reflection are equal the law when used along with the parabola helps the beam focus the shape of the parabola when used for the purpose of reflection wave exhibits some properties of the parabola which are helpful for building an antenna using the wave reflective. Now let's see the construction. If a parabolic reflector antenna is used for transmitting a signal, the signal from the field come out of a dipole or a horn antenna to focus the wave on the parabola. It means that the wave come out of the focal point and strike the paraboloidal reflector. This wave now gets reflected as collimated wave front as discussed previously to get transmitted. The same antenna is used as receiver when the electromagnetic wave hits the shape of the parabola, the wave gets reflected onto the feed point. The dipole or the horn antenna which act as receiver antenna at its feed receiver, this signal to convert it into electrical signals and forward it to the receiver circuitry. The image shows the parabolic reflector antenna. The gain of the paraboloidal is a function of aperture ratio d by l. The effective radiated power ERP of an antenna is the multiplication of the input power fed to the antenna and its power gain. Next is the radiation pattern. The figure shows how the radiation pattern of the parabolic reflector. Here, the all the inserted wave is reflected at the center as receiver antenna 
and if the antenna is a transmitter reverse philosophy is applied so the figure showing the transmitting of em wave basically it's working in two modes as per feed line given to parabolic deflector antenna first that is case green field case green field is another type of feed given to the reflector antenna in this type the feed is located at the vertex of the paraboloidal unlike in the parabolic reflector when the antenna act as a transmitter antenna the energy from the feed radiates through a horn on to the hyperboloid concave reflector which again reflect back on to the parabolic reflector the signal gets reflected into the space from there hence the wastage of power is controlled and the directivity gets improved the second that is the gregorian feed this is another type of feed used a pair of a certain configuration are there where the feed beam width is progressively increased while antenna dimension are held fixed such type of feed is known as gregorian feed here the convention shaped hyperboloid of cascarian is replaced with concave shaped paraboloidal reflector which is of course similar in size this gregorian feed type of reflector can be used in four way so here the figure shows the four way where we can use the gregorian system as a feed line now let's see the advantages of parabolic reflector reduce of minor lobes wastage of power is reduced equivalent focal length is achieved feed can be placed in any location according to the our convenience adjustment of beam is done by adjusting the reflecting surface now let's see the disadvantages of this parabolic reflector antenna some of the power gets reflected from the parabolic reflector is absorbed this become the problem with small dimension paraboloid it require reflector and driver element cost is high and the size which are the disadvantages of the parabolic reflector now let's see the applications first that is microwave links direct broadcast television the cascreen feed parabolic reflector is mainly used in satellite communication and also used in wireless telecommunication system so this is the end of the parabolic reflector at the end we have assignment for you first question explain construction of parabolic reflector second describe the mode of operation of parabolic reflector and third list the advantages disadvantages and application of parabolic reflector or you can attempt the quiz based on this video link is given in the description box or also you can scan the qr code total 10 question with 50% passing mark so this is the end of this session of antenna and wave propagation see you in the next session with some new antenna if you like this video please 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 subscribe and like our youtube channel ljpec and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get latest video update fast